the first stage of lifting the lockdown saw, among other businesses, the vehicle repair garages given a green light to operate. Following the president's directives, spare part traders decided to open their businesses, claiming that because they are complementary service to the mechanics, they had also been allowed to operate. <laughs> However, police deployed heavily and blocked them from operating. <laughs> Some traders started to smuggle spare parts out of their shops to the customers. This prompted police to seal off the road leading to Chiseka Market, the hub of spare parts businesses in Kampala. The pedestrians were also ordered to go back home. Some traders complained of lack of clarity in the president's directive. We are the people supplying the spare. So we have come to open our office. Very unfortunately, the Ascari is not open. So I want to know why. We are the people supplying the spare. So we have come to open our office. Police explained why the traders were blocked. And yesterday's directive of the president, he allowed garages to open mechanics to begin uh, repairing vehicles, to begin working. Um, but uh, HE's directive uh, was not so uh, uh, concrete on whether spare part shops should open. However, this was contrary to what the Trade Minister Amelia Chambade said as she commented on the incident. Because there is no point in opening a garage when you don't have spare parts. So now how are you going to operate the garage? Okay. I mean, it, sometimes it's just a bit of uh, common sense. Nevertheless, Chambadi says that spare parts traders who operate in arcades will have to wait. Because the arcades, first of all, they are enclosed. Two, they attract a lot of crowds. So it is very difficult to observe standard operating procedures. The traders now want the president to come out and clarify the matter since the mechanics cannot operate without spare parts shops. Solomon Kawesa. NTV.